All right, y'all, another day, another tropical update. Here's our area to watch in the Western Caribbean. It's in red, it has a 90% chance of development. Basically, it's a guarantee at this point. And more not so great news, there's an increasing chance that the incipient storm will make a run towards the Gulf of Mexico and maybe even make a run at Florida. Follow me on Facebook and TikTok for the latest on this storm and follow my radar on all social media platforms too. So diving in right now, here's the latest infrared satellite. We see all the thunderstorms that were kind of scattered yesterday have sort of amalgamated and come together into one convective mass. Part of that is something we call convective self-aggregation. So basically like they all kind of clump together. That's the first step in forming a storm. Just a random cool side note about tropical meteorology. If you have scattered thunderstorms in an area that's big enough, under idealized circumstances in like 15 to 100 days, they'll all kind of merge together into one big thunderstorm cluster about a quarter the size of the whole domain. We call that convective self-aggregation. You don't need to remember that, but it's cool. That's my weather soapbox for today. But anyway, it does look like, at least on satellite imagery, visible satellite, we have some low level counterclockwise circulation. I think buried beneath all the thunderstorm anvils, there probably is some spin at the low levels. The hurricane hunters are flying in right now to investigate that. Moreover, that's co-located with the maximum in vorticity or spin. So the whole area is spinning. And I think that spin will be stretched vertically by our thunderstorms and help a storm to kind of organize around it. So then what happens? Well. Any minute today, the National Hurricane Center might say, hey, we have ourselves a tropical depression. Regardless of when that comes, the system is organizing right now near and southwest of Jamaica, and will do so for the next 36 to 48 hours. It might get going rather quickly too. We've got water temperatures of 85 to 87 degrees there, which means high octane fuel, plentiful oceanic heat content. Yes, it's almost Thanksgiving, and yet we still have plenty of juice for this storm. Now, it'll linger in the Western Caribbean for a few days, probably strengthening, maybe rapidly intensifying, because it can't go east. It tries to, but it can't because there's a high pressure right there, like a force field blocking it. So it stalls, it lingers, might make a run towards the Yucatan Peninsula Friday into Saturday, but I do think that after passing near Cancun, it will enter the Gulf of Mexico early next week. Then we have a little bit of an issue because then a jet stream dip, i.e. a trough over the Rockies, will move east and might capture our storm and sort of pull it north or northeast. Weather models do indicate that's a possibility and we have to watch the central and eastern Gulf of Mexico. So Again, nothing imminent yet, but I think between November 19th and the 22nd, we might have a named storm in the Gulf of Mexico making a run towards the United States. It's not unheard of, it has happened. We've had four hurricanes hit the US in the month of November in the past 170 years. Most recently, Nicole back in 2022. Not saying it'll happen, good chance it won't, but something we have to watch. Stay tuned for more updates. We'll have frequent tropical updates throughout the week, into the weekend as well. We got you covered every step of the way. Follow My Radar on social media Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download My Radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, and Windows.